Welcome back to part three of the layers panel. Um, I've added some more stuff over here and in the previous video we went over slice and weld and some of attach. So um, let me just go over attach a little bit again. Okay, um, let me turn these purple so they'll be on their own mat. And um, so obviously, I think I've already done this. If I attach these and I go to make it, <clears throat> it's going to cut the circle and it's going to cut the square. Okay. Um, so you're going to end up with this L shape here. So let's cancel that. Um, if I let me detach, and it's worth mentioning mentioning again, if you weld, you cannot unweld, you can only undo. So if you do 20 steps and you decide you want to unweld, you're gonna have to hit the undo button 20 times, 21 to get it unwelded. Let me move this to the front. If I select these two and I attach and I go to make it, it's going to cut out the square and it's going to cut out the paw. Okay, so I would weed the paw out and I'd be left with a square, um, or I would weed the square off and be left with the paw. Okay, for vinyl anyway. Um, and that's what I work with a lot. Well, I don't know. I work with cardstock too. So anyway, <laughs> um, let me go ahead and detach those. Um, let, let me grab this here. Cause I wanted to show you one more thing. I, I showed you how, if you have, um, something that is one piece, like, let's say I made this in Inkscape and I brought it over. Um, and then I decided I didn't want the paw print. I want a, um, I want a, um, silhouette of my dachshund instead. So what I can do is I can cover that paw and I can select everything and slice. Now I know I showed you how to separate two lines, um, of text, but I just wanted to show you that you could um, do that with um, an image as well, not just text, okay? Um, if I take this and I select both of those and I slice, when I remove my text, it's still gonna be one. Okay, it's not going to separate the two lines because I sliced it. Um, what you would have to do is um, you would have to take your square, unlock it, and, well, this isn't a good example any longer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Unlock <clears throat> your square and then place it um, over one of the lines and slice it. <clears throat> and then you'll end up with two um, separate lines that you can move around. I see a lot of people say, well, place a square over it and slice and it will separate it. Well, it doesn't, as you can see. Um, so that's that. Um, and again, attach, you know, if you have all of these selected and you want them to cut just like that, just attach them. Okay. When you go to make it, it's going to be all attached and it's going to cut just like that. Okay. If, um, let me detach that. And if I group these, 
and I go to make it, they're not, they don't stay in the same place. See, this is my black one, this is my gray one. So um, you need to attach them if you want them to look like this when it gets to your cutting mat, okay? So let me go ahead and ungroup those. And now we have flatten. Flatten is for print then cut only. All right. Um, I think I showed you in a previous video how to upload a pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my star here. And I'm going to change it to print. And that's going to give me the option to make that star a pattern. And there's you know there's a ton of patterns in here there's distressed patterns there's all kinds of patterns i'm going to choose my dog <laughs> and that's gonna fill him now you would think you could grab a hold of that and move the picture but you can't you have to edit it down here on the bottom okay so just click on edit and then um you can use this here to scale it. Uh, let's see. I really wish they would let us press and hold on these buttons. Guess I could always type in a number, which I'm going to do minus 25. Doesn't look like it moved at all, does it? What if I do minus 50? Now it moved. Minus 75. Okay, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> so then I can close that out. And when I go to make it, it's going to print and it's going to cut around the star. Okay, this black box is your um, registration mark. This is what your Cricut reads so that it can position the cut uh, where it needs to be and it will cut correctly. Okay. Um, Again, you can mirror if you want to mirror. Um, I probably wouldn't, but you can. Okay, let me cancel that. Um, so that's flatten one way. Um, if I have, let's say I made a card and I'm going to put, oops, it's so small, I shouldn't have made it so small. Okay, again, this is script font, so what do we need to do? We need to get these letters together. Uh, Okay, and we need to weld them. Otherwise, remember, they're going to cut out. They're not going to cut as one continual um, letter or one continual path here. It's going to cut that little section out there, that little section out there, that little section out there. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's flatten that. And then let's go to make it. And it's going to print this and it's going to cut this. Now, if, let me select this and unflatten it. If you do not want it to print your shape, then you need to turn your shape white because printers do not print white. Okay. I can shrink this down even. Um, it so that it cuts 
closer and I don't, you know, waste so much material. Now I can't see my square. Okay. Um, so select all of it and flatten again. And as you can see, there's no black outline around there now. So it's not going to cut. It's going to print. So it will print and then it will cut my, my square rectangle. Okay. So that's flattened for print then cut only. And then we have contour. Uh, let's go get an image. And we'll get a flower. I'm going to grab this one. <clears throat> All right. So here I have one, two, three, four layers to this flower. My black layer is shut off. That's my shadow layer. Okay. Um, so let's say I don't. I don't want all of these cutouts here. So if I go to contour, well, I need to select the layer first. So let's ungroup it, select the layer, and then go to contour. You can see all the cuts, okay? There's a circle cut. Now I just shut that off because I highlighted it. Let me undo that. Um, So let me click on this one, this one, and this one, the bottom three, and then I'll close that out. As you can see, it, it erased, if you will, the cut lines, so those will no longer cut. Um, that's what contour does. So let me select it and go back to contour, and I can turn this one back on and turn this one off just by clicking on it, left clicking on it. Okay, um, so now I no longer have that circle there. This one actually is laying on top, but um, I no longer have it cutting out a circle there or these two. Okay, and that's pretty much what contour does. It just, um, it will take away your cut lines, um, but I'm, pretty sure that it doesn't work on uploaded images so they'll have to be images um i guess i can uh let's no that would be way too much um let's do the cricket bug he was the upload J jpeg let me go ahead and delete this I didn't want that. Okay, where'd my bug go? Is he here? No. Oh, gosh. Insert. There he is. Yeah, no contour. Okay. It, well, let me ungroup him. Because that's a lie. I do have contour. Okay, see, I don't design in here, you guys, so I'm not that familiar with it. But if I didn't want these, well, if I didn't want his mouth cut out, I could turn it off. And now he has no mouth. Okay, so you can do it on um, on JPEGs. That, if you remember, I uploaded several times so that I would have the different layers. Okay, um, so. I'm sure if you're new, you're probably going to have questions. Go ahead and leave those in the comments. I'm pretty sure I probably missed some stuff or forgot some stuff. If that's the case and I remember or I think of it, I'll make a video and I'll, I'll put it in the, um, the CDS3 how-tos playlist. Um, the only videos I'm going to have in this playlist um CDS3, which is Cricut Design Space 3 for beginners, is going to be these um, seven or eight videos for be beginners. Anything else will go in the how to's playlist. Okay. So I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching and be sure you subscribe for more videos to come. Thanks.